Hi everyone, Just for Sweets here. Today we are going to do something fun um, and economical for Christmas. I know it's been a while since I've had a video out there and I do apologize. Um, I have been a little busy and have not been able to do my traditional, you know, uh, row of Christmas videos where I'm doing crafts and foods for Christmas. Um, I actually am um, fostering my nieces and my nephew right now along with my own children and um, it's been kind of hectic and crazy and um, I've had to work a little bit extra but I wanted to get at least one video out there. I'm hoping to get at least two before Christmas. So let's get this one started. Um, I needed something economical because uh, we're on a budget right now. Well, always on a budget but really on a budget right now with the extra mouths to feed and um, I am making Christmas mugs for um, my kids and uh, I always do a Christmas Eve bag or box that they get to open and I did make a video last year of what the Christmas Eve bag includes so I'm doing that again this year and I always stick some kind of coffee mug or drink in there or a uh, drink mug in there and so we are going to make personalized coffee mugs and I actually got these coffee mugs at the dollar store uh, just plain black you can use plain white if you want it doesn't matter Went there, scooped up a bunch of these, about 10 or 12 of these uh, to make personalized mugs. All you need is a mug and some scrapbooking stickers, which are letters, and you can choose any letter or design you want. It doesn't matter what color it is. You can pick the size, the scroll, the font, whatever, um, because we are going to peel these off anyway. And then I'm using Sharpie oil-based pens, and I have three colors, a pink, silver, and gold. And these are a little bit on the pricey side. I did get them at Michael's, our local craft store. And um, I used a 40% off coupon. So I think for three, they were $12.99, but then I got 40% off. And I think I also had a 20% off coupon. So basically, I got 60% off of these. So if you, if you clip the coupons or download the coupons, it's totally worth it. And you can get them for a good deal. So again, they're the Sharpie oil-based pens. You want to turn your oven on 350 degrees. And this is what we're gonna do. Basically, you decide what you want to put on your coffee mug, whether it's a saying, a picture, whatever. You can use stars, hearts, uh, whatever you like to do. And uh, this one I am going to make, I'll make this one for my husband. So, I am going to put on here, I'm gonna write dad, just because we have our favorite coffee mugs and um, I made one for myself that says mom. So I am going to write dad on here and you just take your scrapbooking stickers. Of course I buy a funky font so I have to kind of follow the way it goes. And just place it ever so gently where you would like it on the cup. So you can see that real well. That's the reason I did pick white. I wanted you to see that how it was on the black mug. So you can use um, lowercase letters if you want. You can use all uppercase. It doesn't matter. I'm trying to find the rest of the lowercase. Maybe I didn't get them. Doesn't look like they put them in there. Oh, well. Okay. So we'll just use... Let me see. Maybe they're on here. Oh, there they are. So we can use a small A, which is right here. I should probably write it in big letters and then people know exactly whose it is. Place that on there. And then our last letter. Now at this point you could pick, you know, a star, a heart, or any other design you want to put on it. I'm basically going to write just dad. But you can do whatever you like. Now I got this idea from one of my clients. Um, she brought it to me as a Christmas gift and I fell in love with it and it was so easy I decided I was going to do it as well. And then I've also had the kids make them for, uh, I've had my foster kids make them for their mom and then um, my daughter's made it for her teacher. So these are really good and economical. You can fill them with Hershey Kisses or Reese's Peanut Butter Cups or whatever you want, candy canes. Now all you do is you take your oil-based pen and you are going to just start creating dots around the letters. If you get it on the letters, it doesn't matter because we're peeling those letters off. So just dot, 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 or you can trace it. I prefer to do the dots. I think they look kind of fun. Basically, I go around the letters, go in the center of the letter. 
So you can see basically what the pattern is of what I'm doing. And I do all one color first. So I'm gonna continue doing this and then we'll come back. Okay, so you can see that silver's done and all I did was make a bunch of little dots all around. So now I'm gonna do gold. I think on dad's cup, we may just leave the pink color out. So then you're gonna take your gold and you're just gonna follow around, you know, the same pattern if you want or make a few extra, go in the middle with them and keep dotting with a different color. Now there are several different colors out there. There's a kit, I believe, that has probably 12 colors in it that's about $25. So if you wanted to invest in that, you could with a 40 or 50% off coupon. Um, this is the time of year to do it because the coupons are really out there. If not, you can find them online if you don't get them in the mail or if you don't have an app on your phone. So make sure you look for a coupon before you ever enter any store. I've even found to find codes online um, for like online shopping. I did that on Black Friday where I got codes so I could get free shipping or $5 off. You always want to look something up to make it more economical. So with the gold, I'm going around and we are gonna finish the gold. Like I said, I'm not gonna do any pink. It looks kinda like confetti, it's fun. So I'll be right back as soon as we do that. Okay, so it's all done and I just let it dry. Now it has not gone in the oven yet. Basically, once you let the ink dry on there, you wanna just take your scrapbooking stickers and start peeling them off, just like so. You can see where it left the imprint in there Keep peeling. Like I said, have fun with these. You can do designs, you can do whatever you want. Put an apple for a teacher. Okay, so keep going. I'm peeling these off. Don't fret if some of it doesn't peel off. You can always take a Q-tip with some water after you bake it and get that off of there. Okay, but they should peel off pretty easy. And scrapbooking stickers are pretty inexpensive. Just go to your craft store when you get your pins. Go to the scrapbooking section. And I believe you can get some stickers for roughly, I don't know, $2.99. And a lot of times they have a sale on stickers. Like when I went and got these, they were buy one, get one half off. Okay, so see, so we got that all off of there. I have a couple little touch-up pieces where I just scratch some stuff off. I'll go through where I kind of know where I want to put some more color maybe. Just like that. Okay, looks perfect. Maybe fill in that D right there a little bit. All right, there it is. So now you have your oven preheated at 350 degrees. You are gonna stick this mug in there for approximately an hour to an hour and a half. And then what I do is I shut the oven off and let the, the mug cool right in the oven. So it's pretty simple. Just stick it in that oven and let it bake. I'll be back. I'm going to show you some of the ones I've made. Okay, here's just three of what I made. And this one says, Moms, this one actually just came out of the oven. Do not touch Mom's coffee. Now, obviously, I wrote the do not touch coffee in the marker, and then I did the Moms with the scrapbooking stickers. And this one does have the pink on it. You can see that. And I just went around with it. That's actually for my daughter. And then this one is either for my husband or I'll give it to my daughter's uh, boyfriend uh, because they have a daughter together, my little granddaughter, and then my grandson. So he's dad, so I, I might give it to him or my husband. So that one's ready to go. And then this one, actually, I'm pretty impressed. This one was made by my four-year-old niece, who I am fostering. And um, she wanted to make a mug for her mom. And so she sat here one day and I put the stickers on for her and she designed it however she wanted and then she wanted to put some dots on the stem. She kind of just went all around the mug. So you can see how easy it is. You just have to place the stickers on for the kids and then they can dot away. So those are the mugs that we've made that are economical, very inexpensive, fun. Put some candy in them, put a packet of hot cocoa in them or some tea bags, wrap them up in cellophane with a bow, put a Christmas ornament on it, and you've got a great gift. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. You can also join me on Facebook at Just for Sweets. Um, that is just basically my cooking Facebook page. Um, I do have um, a few other pages, but basically that's my main page. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed. I hope you get a chance to make it. Check out some of my other Christmas videos, like my sock snowman. That's been a real popular one this season. And uh, try to make those as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful holiday. And until next time, next video, God bless everyone.